Alrighty folks, that's Jay Poor here from Little Face Brewing. I am putting some finishing touches on uh, some holders. What these are, as you can see, there are a couple of them here. There, and one over here. That's already got a finish on it. Uh, these are actually being built to hold the trophy for the SG Port Challenge. There's four of them because there's been three winners and these are all going to go out to those winners and then this one here is going to go out to this year's winner. So uh, gives you a little bit more incentive to uh, brew a sessionable beer for a thirsty world. <laughs> yeah, they're coming along right nice. These are exciting times at Little Face Brewing. Hi everybody, it's SJ Poor from Little Face Brewing. What are you all doing? You know what that is right there? That is my part of the Independent Brewing Wart Challenge 2016. <laughs> that's right, that's my baby. And I'm not telling you a whole lot of what I did with this thing. There's video of it. There's video of it. That's going to come at another time. I got myself a sample here. Oh, smells good. Yeah, it really fermented down too. I mean, it knocked the shit out of it, which is exactly what I wanted to do. We're at like 002 right now, and this is primary. I'm getting ready to rack this bad boy over into secondary and throw a couple of little bits and pieces of SJ into that rascal. But that's not what we're here to talk about. What we're here to talk about is the 2016 SJ Port Challenge. Brew a sessionable beer for a thirsty world. <laughs> Man, the, 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 it's been off the hook. It literally has been off the hook. The, the, everybody's been sending messages and sending emails that there's a lot of excitement around the 2016 SJ Port Challenge. A lot of excitement. And we aim to please, people. We do aim to please. This year, there's a trophy. I'm working on those trophies right now. The last, I'm catching everybody up to date. Everybody that was in the SJ Port Challenge since it was actually from its exception, which is really three years to where we became the challenge of what it is today, you're all getting your trophies. You're well deserved. You're well deserved, folks. And they're they're cool looking. <laughs> they are they are cool. More on that at a later date. Are you guys putting your recipes together? I certainly hope so. Are you guys and gals out there thinking on how you can brew a sessionable 4.5% cat beer? Well, I certainly hope you are. My last video that I did with this one was like two, two, three weeks ago. I had a little bit of a snafu in that video just to where I was like, oh yeah, you know, it's 4.5%. I did say that in the video. And then at the end of the video, there were some clips that came up that said it was 5%. That was just to describe what a sessionable beer, sessionable beer was out of Beer Advocate. Thank you guys for allowing me to steal that little tiny bit of information from you all and post it onto my video. It was just a definition. We are actually capping this year's challenge off at 4.5% and that's it! That's it! That is it! That's the only stipulation you got! 4.5%! Everything else is up to you! Whatever you want to do! Brew yourself a wonderful beer! But make it sessionable! We want to be able to go out and mow the grass and drink on that rascal while we're mowing the grass and not tilt the tractor over! That'll be a first! <laughs> Brew sessionable for a thirsty world. I was uh, on Facebook uh, yesterday. Yeah, I believe it was yesterday. Graham Baker had posted that he's basically trying to teach himself how to brew again. 
because we get so used to brewing those, you know, six and seven percent beers, these big, giant, enormous beers that you really can't sit down and drink more than two or three of them and, and you're asleep on the sofa. So this is what the challenge is all about. It's about stretching your abilities. It's about pushing the envelope. Last year was Brew Local for the World. We were asked you to go out and find local stuff from your area and put it in your beer and brew it that way. This year it's a sessionable beer. So we're pushing those limits. We're making you step back a little bit. Not really step back. We're making you put your thinking cap on is what we're doing. Because we want a good beer at 4.5%. Or, or lower. Shoot, you could do a 3%er if you wanted. I, I already know that Pat's fan, he's got a leg up on a lot of you folks. I've tasted that beer. He has an IPA that came in at like 3%, I think it was. I'd have called him a liar if he'd have told me, coming right out and say, yep, this is just a 3% beer. It's an IPA. Nope, you're full of crap. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. That was a beautifully hot beer. It had full body. It had full mouthfeel. It had everything in it that you would expect for a nice big IPA at 3%. <laughs> it was phenomenal. I actually had a, uh, a session ale on it that actually turned into like a pepper beer that was only at 3%. That was nice, very drinkable beer. I brewed on Saturday for National Home Brew Day, Big Brew Day, I'm sorry, hashtag Big Brew Day, I brewed both of the beers. One was an alt beer, the other was a ginger ale. Take a wild guess what the ABV was on that. And the AHA put this one out there. This is what they recommended you guys to brew on Big Brew Day. It was 3.7% uh, ginger ale. Ale. And I brewed that rascal. That might be a test run for what I'm sending out to you folks. <laughs> it might be because I tell you what, if anybody out there brewed that beer, they know what I'm talking about. That was a phenomenal recipe. The ginger, oh, I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm not going to go on any further. So people, go out there, keep asking your questions, keep throwing them out to us, you know, count to the hubs and everything. Make sure you go out and thank the hubs, the people behind the scenes right now are busting their tails to make this thing happen. Shoot them out a note and say, hey, you know what, we appreciate what you're doing to make the SJ Poor Challenge possible. I know I do, I can't thank these guys enough because they are working their tails off. So shoot them out a shout out. Say, hey, thank you guys for being part of the 2016 SJ Port Challenge. Thank them because they deserve it. Talk back and forth amongst yourselves on how you want to do this. I love the conversations that I've been seeing. It's been phenomenal. Go out and tackle after sponsors. We need sponsorship this year. We need it huge. Support your local homebrew stores. I can't say this enough. I, yes, I am the owner of the grain bill. And I want, I want support as much as anybody else. But I also want all of the other little homebrew stores out there that are struggling today. They are struggling today. I want them to benefit from this. Absolutely. Their success depends on you. You guys go out there and you knock on the door, you walk up to the counter, you ask them questions, you do this, you do that. You buy your stuff from those guys. Buy, buy your stuff from those guys. Please support your local homebrew stores. My focus this year is supporting the local homebrew stores. And I, and I mean that all off. We have two here in York, and I'm supporting both of them, me and the other guy. So support your local homebrew stores. And let's get more excited. Actually, can I even get more excited? If I did, my head would explode. <laughs> Anyways, let's get her going, people. I'm digging this. I got to get back to this deal because I'm going to shoot some more video about this. I just want to pop in and let you all hear me talk and rant and rave and do what I do. All right? This is SJ Poor from Little Face Brewing. 
Brew yourself a sessional beer for a thirsty world and enjoy the fruits of your labor, folks. Brew beer. Brew a sessional beer for a thirsty world. Ah. Cheers. <laughs>